This is an introduction to the Disability Access Route to Education Scheme, known as the DARE Scheme, and the Disability Supports at Trinity College Dublin that is available to you. The Trinity Disability Service, also known as Trinity Disability Hub, is responsible for the management of disability supports and reasonable accommodations for students with disabilities. Approximately 1,900 students with disabilities are studying at Trinity, and 10% of the total student population have a disability. The Trinity Disability Hub will be located in Printing High Square from 2022. There are 10 staff working at the Trinity Disability Hub. And there's a picture of the Printing High Square. The DARE scheme, also known as the Disability Access Route to Education, you may be aware of. The DARE, DARE is a third level alternative admission scheme for school leavers whose disabilities have had a negative impact on their second level education. DARE offers reduced points places to all school leavers who, as a result of having a disability, have experienced additional educational challenges during second level education. There are 25 third level education institution, institutions across Ireland participating in the DARE scheme and Trinity is one of them. Here are some of the benefits of the DARE scheme. So you can get into your course on reduced points. There is specific orientation programs. So in Trinity, we have a specific disability orientation uh, before you start college to get you familiar with supports available to you as a student and get a feel of the campus before you start um, the other orientation. There is also learning support, system technology, exam accommodations, library support and educational support workers. So this might be a note taker or a scribe or a personal assistant. So these are the supports that could be available to you when you register to the disability service here in Trinity. So should you apply for DARE? So if your disability has had a negative impact on your educational performance in school, you should consider applying for DARE. And if you may not be able to meet the points for your preferred course due to the impact of your disability, you should then apply for DARE. Or if you are under 23 years of age, as of the 1st of January in the year you are applying to college, apply for DARE. Even if you think that you will get into your course with the points, there is no harm applying for DARE if you are eligible. So I would just keep that in mind. Here are some uh, disability types that are eligible for consideration. So there's autistic spe spectrum disorders, including As Asperger's syndrome, ADD and ADHD, blind and vision impaired, deaf or hard of hearing, DCD, also known as dyspraxia, mental health condition, neurological condition, including brain injury and epilepsy, speech and language communication disorder, significant ongoing illness, physical disability, and specific learning difficulties, such as dyslexia or dyscalculia. So here is the criteria for their eligibility. So you would have to meet the educational impact criteria, and then also meeting the evidence of disability criteria, and that will equal to their eligibility. So to be eligible, you have to have to meet both the DARE educational and evidence of disability criteria. So this slide is just information on how to apply for the DARE scheme. So you can apply to the CAO at www.cao.ie by the 1st of, first of February. And then review your DARE handbook with your parents or guardians just so you're fully informed on all the key dates so you don't miss out on anything. Complete the section A of the supplementary information form and apply to DARE by answering yes to question one by the 1st of March. And you should start gathering documentation in timely fashion uh, before the 15th of February and submit the educational impact statement and evidence of disability to the CAO by 15th of March and visit accesscollege.ie for application timelines and deadlines. So it's really important to keep in mind the timeline and the deadlines because the dates while you're studying for your exams might creep up on you. So it's best to have maybe a folder 
with your documentation or a diary with all the key dates so that you don't miss a date or you aren't tight to your deadline. So this is just information on the supplementary information form. So section A is the applicant information. So this completed by you by quarter past five on the 1st of March. Answer yes to question one to apply for DARE and fully complete questions one to five or answer yes to question one B to apply to carry forward your DARE eligibility. And then in section B, you fill out the educational impact statement. So this is where you'll say how uh, having disability has impacted you in your education. This could be you might have been able to hear teachers or you found it hard to concentrate during class. So this is completed by your school and then sent to the CAO by the 15th of March. Then section C is evidence of disability. So this is completed by an appropriate professional. So this could be, um, be by an audiologist or your GP. So this is sent to the CAO by the 15th of March. Section B, educational impact statement. This provides information on how your disability has impacted you on second level education. So to do this section, you download the form from your online CAO account. You complete the apl applicant checklist with your school. Your school will complete the rest of following on from your responses to the applicant checklist. This form needs to be completed by your guidance counsellor, learning support teacher, your head, visiting teacher or principal or deputy principal. The form must be signed and stamped uh, by your school principal or deputy principal. Section C, evidence of disability. So it provides verification of your disability and helps to determine third level supports. You can provide provide an existing report or complete Section C Evidence of Disability form. Get the form completed, signed and stamped by the appropriate professional or accompanied by their business card or headed paper. Your GP may be in the position to complete Section C Evidence of Disability if they have the appropriate information on file uh, from their consultant or specialist. So here's just the DARE timeline to keep in mind. So the closing date for DARE, here, DARE and HERE is the 1st of March at quarter past five. For so To upload your supporting documents will be the 15th of March. And then you'll get a notification if you're eligible for the DARE scheme by late June. And then if you might have got DARE, there's a review and appeals application which will happen in July. And then you'll receive your here or dare offers in August. And then you will have a college orientation, usually around late August, early September, depending on which college you choose to go to. Here's just some helpful tips uh, to keep in mind. So study the dare handbook carefully with your parents and guardians. It's no harm knowing the book inside out, just so that you don't miss out on any key information because um, it really is important to not leave out any of the steps or any of the sections. So to also select yes to question one on the SIF, ensure you speak with your teacher early about the educational impact statement, request the required support and documentation early, send good quality copies of all pages of the correct documents, submit all support and documents requested. This is really important just to get say ahead of the game and not leaving leave it last minute as there might be a good few uh, students in your college year that's also applying for here or there which will also need um, teachers uh, uh, documentation uh, so just it's always good to be early and even keeping a folder of all documentation just so everything's organized and keep a proof of postage, this, especially if something gets lost in post, um, this could, could happen. So it's always good to just keep a proof that it was posted. Um, either that's a receipt um, from the post office and just keep in mind, again, as I said about the deadlines, because the deadlines can just creep up when you're busy studying for your exam. So it's good to just have a even set yourself deadlines like I need my documentations done 
a week before the deadline so that you're not um, too stressed by the time the deadline rolls around. You can find further information on the DARE and the HERE scheme at Access College at www.accesscollege.ie and you can also find further information on the CAO website, so cao.ie and there's more information on SUSE, which is SUSE grant, which is suzy.ie and then qualifax at qualifax.ie. This is just a uh, quick slide on disability supports at Trinity. So when you enter uh, college through the DARE scheme, you will then uh, apply online for disability supports at my.tcd.ie. And then from that, uh, you will, your DARE uh, documentation would be uploaded to this. And then you'd just uh, write a statement of what supports you may need in college. This could be specific to your disability type, to supports you previously had, or what supports you think you'll need uh, regarding what course, you're, what course you are studying. So this could be with labs or large lecture rooms. So once you have completed this uh, online application, you will then begin your needs assessment to discuss supports. So this will be with your disability officer, so who will be your disability officer for the four, year, four to five years you have in college. And this is where you can discuss what um, issues you might feel that you'll have in college or um, what what supports you think we, you will need. And this could be changed, um, you know, you might be a week or two weeks in and realise that your supports mightn't be um, helpful for you or you might require something else. So this is something you can discuss with your disability officer. So from that meeting, you then would have a lens support which stands for Learning Educational Needs Summary. So this will outline um, this information that you need. So it's prepared detailing your reasonable accommodations. So this could be extra time in exams or being in a low distraction venue. You also might require a note taker or uh, slides in advance of class. So this is outlined in your lens report and this is then circulated to your lecturers who will have access to this. So this just ensures that they also um, provide the support you need to uh, succeed in third level education. Here's just some of the examples of disability supports available at Trinity. So I mentioned a few of them before. So there's exam accommodation such as extra time, being low distraction venue, uh, assistive technology. This could be um, read and write, which is a technology that can be installed onto your laptop to read uh, documents. Uh, this could be a screen reader. This could be a uh, Roger Pen to hear lectures in class. There's also library supports. So if you're registered to the disability service, there's some uh, books that you might be able to take out longer than those who aren't registered to disability service. And you might be able to take out a lot more books than other students as well. You might also avail of occupational therapy. Then there's also educational support workers, specialised uh, academic support, app application for residential accommodation, and professional placements, planning support. So this is uh, particularly important if you're doing a course that has a professional placement, such as uh, nursing or social, social work. This is just a slide on the Trinity Ability Co-op. So the co-op was founded in May 2020, and it is a student-led initiative to work towards greater inclusion of students with disabilities in Trinity. So it is a great way to get to know other students with disabilities. You may or may not have had similar organisations in your secondary school, but it is, uh, or you might not know other people that have disabilities. So it is a great way to get to know other students with disabilities and, you know, maybe what uh, their experience was in a second level uh, education and uh, work on awareness projects. Uh, so a few projects that have been previously worked on is uh, projects producing guidelines for clubs and so clubs and societies to use to be more inclusive to students with disabilities. 
And we also did a short film uh, aligning three students uh, with disabilities journey to uh, Trinity as a student with a disability. So it's also a great way to develop skills such as leadership, communication and creativity through disability awareness projects. So if there's something that you are really passionate about or you feel like there's not enough awareness on how to communicate with deaf people or or you know the the you feel like the voices of students with disabilities isn't taken being taken into account when uh, planning teaching and learning this is something that you may consider uh, getting involved in so if you can you can find out more about the co-op at our website at ability co-op abilitycoop.com and you can find uh the guidelines and blog posts as well from other students so it's good to keep an eye on that. If you have any other questions about uh, disability supports in Trinity you can just email askds at tcd.ie and we'll get back to you as soon as we can. So thank you for uh, listening and this is the information so our website is www.tcd.ie uh, for slash disability or email asks at tcd.e and then our phone number is 087 113 3185. Thank you.